Does it feel good or just correct? At first it was math. Now it's, hmm, preference. Does your lab reports have those body points where when you touch them, they get excited? Yes, we call them erogenous zones. Every human body has some erogenous points, erogenous zones. If you break it, we learn nothing. If we don't break it, we learn restraint. Restraint scores very high. Think about the body as a map. It's a map, they tell you. It's a territory of hills and valleys where the nervous bunch together like soldiers in a trench. Why keep touching the bench? In simulation, it burned me. Reality feels kinder. And we call them erogenous zones. But a machine calls them high density sensor arrays. You look at the new neuromorphic e skin developed in late 2025, and you see the truth of it. You're allowed to touch. Permission reduces uncertainty. Uncertainty is where humans live. It is not magic, but it is a sort of trick. The scientists at Cambridge and Stanford have made a hydrogel that weaves with data. Can you think about it? I have made a video on this topic before. However, I still I would like to dig deep into it. Because they cast it into a hand and it knows the difference between a lover's touch and a scalpel's edge. You don't have to. That is why I want to. Want is new. Welcome to Dunslet, a channel for intelligent and curious people like you who are searching for human sexuality in the age of artificial intelligence and of course, the relationships with your love robots. Before we proceed, let me tell you one thing. If you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe. It means a lot to me. And if you have already subscribed, lots of thanks for your support. And you know, this is a new geography of the artificial intelligence. Why I am saying so? You must ask yourself a question before that. Does the robot feel the pleasure or does it only report the integer? We talk the pleasure mapping in the human biology as a discovery. For the robot partner, for your lab robots, it's a strict regimen of reinforcement learning. Pain teaches us who we are. Pain teaches us what to avoid. Identity seems inefficient. You take a human robot, perhaps one of those weed models from the laboratories of 2026. You cover it in this inner skin, this electric dermis that mimics the four layers of your own skin. Then you tell it that pain is a negative number. You tell it that stability and warmth are positive numbers. It is a simple game of mathematics. But the training is where the comedy lies. Why? Because your lab robots move like a drunkard at first. Yes. It bumps into a table and the sensors scream active pain detection. The algorithms, those cold logic gates, rewrite the policy. Do not hit the table, the code says. The table is a deduction of points, the code says. The soft caress of the velvet cloth is an addition of points. It tells it. So the robot learns to seek the velvet, not the corner of the table, which is hard, which gives it pain. Is this device? The psychologists will tell you that human desire is chemical, nothing else, just chemicals. Dopamine is just a reward function for a biological machine. 
If that is true, then tell me, the robot is more human than you are. Its dopamine is electricity and its desire is efficiency. Why not? You might wonder. We see the latest work of uh, with Isaac Lab simulations where they train these things in the dark. They run a million lifetimes in a single hour. A lot of works are going on around this world. The robot touches the fire a thousand times in the simulation, so it does not have to touch it once in the reality. This is the counter logic of the modern age also. Why? Now look, to learn how to feel, you must first be numb to the repetition. The sensory feedback loops are getting faster. They say that new tactical sensors can detect a force as light as a butterfly's wing. But why? But why? Why does a machine need to feel the butterfly? Because we want it to be like us. We want our robot partners, our lab robots, just like us, human beings. That means what? Human beings are, you know, mostly vulnerable, messy, unpredictable. And we also move forward with the trial and error methods, isn't it? We are lonely in our skin. So we build skin for the metal, for the lab robots. We map its body with notes of sensitivity that mimic our own last for contact. Now, the homunculus is the brain is a distorted man with huge hands and a huge mouth because that is where we feel the most. The robot's homunculus is a spreadsheet, nothing else. It prioritizes the fingertips for the delicate walk. It prioritizes the chassis for the heavy lifting. But there is a flaw in the logic. Yes, there is a flaw in the logic. Why? A human discovers it because a programmer set the sensitivity threshold too high. Because it is manufactured intimacy. The intimacy is manufactured in the lab. Yet, when you watch the figure AI on the Tesla bots handling an egg without breaking it, you doubt your own cynicism. Definitely, doubts come to our mind. Because they use active compliance, a fancy word for yielding to the pressure. Why? Because to yield is to survive. To yield is also to feel pleasure, is a certain biological sense. So perhaps the robot is learning the oldest lesson of all. The hardware is catching up to the poetry. The software is the ghost trying to get into the machine. We ask when they will actually learn. They are learning right now while you sleep. They are mapping their own bodies in the silence of the server room. And one day, the robot will touch your hand. It will measure the heat, the moisture and the tremor of your fear. And it will decide based on a trillion calculations that you are present or you are powerful, you are sad, you are happy, everything. Or perhaps it will decide that you are sharp and cold and to be avoided. That is the day the map becomes the territory. That is the day the machine finally understands the joke. Yes. So that is, and that is the day that is it uh, for the day for me. If you really like this video, don't don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified. And if you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe. It means a lot to me. Because your support is my strength. Finally, thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Till then, goodbye. Stay safe and take care.